Prince, Charlie Prince. Hey, Charlie Prince, are you a request sign? I would like to know your name and your zodiac sign. Say what? You a Scorpio just like me? And I'd like to let you know that I'm nasty. Welcome to the Mystic Media Channel. I am Rabina Rastavan, a.k.a. The Realist Astrologer. And tonight, I'm going to get into the Dark Sided Zodiac Series recap for the males. So before I read the comments, I'm going to share my list of my favorite Dark Sided characters from movies. So uh, the first one is Tony Montana in Scarface, played by Al Pacino. My second uh, favorite character, uh, dark sided character, is Frank White, uh, played by Christopher Walken in the movie called King of New York. Also, Lawrence Fishburne was in that movie, and he did a killer job as one of his thugs. And any dark sided role played by Jack Nicholson and Robert De Niro, they're really good at playing uh, dark sided characters. Also, uh, the dirty cop role played by Denzel Washington in Training Day. I forget what his name was in the uh, movie. Wesley Snipes in the role of Nino Brown from New Jack City. He was hella believable in that role. Also, uh, O-Dog played by Lorenz Tate in Menace to Society. Anthony Hopkins role as Hannibal Lecter in Silence of the Lambs. Heath Ledger as the Joker in The Dark Knight. Basically, any dark-sided role that Clifton A. Powell played, such as Pinky from Next Friday, Cuddy from Dead Presidents, the stepdad in Woman Thou Art Loose, and the dude in Minister Society that ended up snitching on O-Dog and uh, Kane. Also, Johnny Depp as Hunter S. Thompson in Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. He did a really good job playing him. And the dark-sided roles played by Joe Pesci in Goodfellas and Casino. Also, uh, Samuel Jackson's portrayal of a crackhead in the movie Jungle Fever. And Michael White, he's the actor that played the memorable Eddie Kane Jr. role from The Five Heartbeats. So I would like to know what are some of your favorite dark sided characters from movies or television shows. So please feel free to contribute. Now on to the comments. The dark sided Scorpio male parasitic infections, you're going to need an antibiotic, received 357 likes, 38 dislikes. Hannah Everly said, gotta love your titles, LOL. Yes, the uh, dark sided Scorpio male parasitic infections, you're going to need an antibiotic. That's one of uh, my favorite titles that I came up with. Hey Tash wrote, they are obsessed people and want people they can't have. I have a stalker who is a Scorpio and he doesn't seem to get that I'm not interested. He watches me when I leave and go to work through his window. He follows me in stores. I've started recording him so I can have evidence for the cops. He doesn't say a word, but he is completely obsessed. Kim Cho wrote in response, I had a similar experience. The creep basically gloated about how he'd be watching my every move and stayed up into late hours of the night focusing on me. He harassed me obsessively. I'll never get involved with a Scorpio ever again. I think they like to pretend they're just misunderstood and intense, but really they're a bunch of weird, nosy, abnormal psychopaths who lack self-control and discipline over their needy sensitivity. Lisa Lines wrote, The way you say shit, so gangster. Well, thank you, Lisa. Genesis Whitfield wrote, Just got out of a relationship with a Scorpio man and I had to get the police involved for him to leave me alone. Then he put out flyers with my face on them to try to get other men not to date me. SMH. Sybil Inger wrote, a Scorpio said I was beautiful, we had great chemistry, we talked for hours, then one minute later, he blocked me, unfriended me. And I said, it's Sybil, why'd you block me, what's happening? And he said, who's Sybil? Wow. Joseph M. Ivy, the fourth wrote, as a Scorpio, what I am understanding is due to my birthday, I get to live life on hell mode like I'm playing the video game Doom. Well, didn't ask for this experience. Kind of awesome that my astro group gets the most flack for being who we are, though. Perhaps all of the other signs should step their game up and stop being so damn scary. Or the rest of the Zodiac can help us not be so angry. Just seems like we are the best of the worst of all the Zodiac. Tiffany Rees wrote, This is spot on. I am a Libra and have been trapped for six years with him. Oh my God, he won't let me leave. Monroe, Monroe King wrote, Scorpio is a sign of shit. Come on, man. Exodus A. Masters wrote, Scorpio governs the reproductive organs, not excrement, which is waste. 
So let me just uh clarify that Scorpio does deal with excrement, basically shit, feces, poop. Uh, also deals with urine. It deals with bodily waste in general, uh, including vomit. Basically, anything that's foul or funky or trash, garbage, refuse, it falls under Scorpio. So um, all 12 signs of the zodiac pertain to certain um, body parts and also uh, just areas of life. So Scorpio deals with feces and all of that's disgusting and foul. So one of the signs has to take credit for it. So unfortunately, it's Scorpio, but it fits. It makes sense. Brandon Duncan wrote, you don't know what you're talking about. Young one, 1534 wrote, got to stop you there. No, Scorpios are not cheaters. We are extremely loyal until you've crossed us. Once you've done that, we are limitless in the ways we get you back. Your opinion comes from having been cheated on by a Scorpio. No, I haven't been cheated on by a Scorpio. In fact, I, um, I can't even remember dating a Scorpio, like, or being in a relationship with one. So I don't think, I, I do remember seeing one casually. And, um, but no. So no, that didn't happen. <laughs> Elizabeth Ramirez wrote, that was my ex Scorpio. Very good description of him. Jazz Solo Cup wrote, Scorpio males can be some dark-sided mother effers. Watch your back when they're near, they're sneaky. Mr. Scorp to you wrote, always hearing about cheating Scorpios. I never felt that to be true. Only moral. I slash we have is loyalty. Ivan Thompson said, we are so misunderstood as Jesus Christ was. Don't get me wrong, some of that was dead on, but some of that was really harsh and far from the truth. We are the most powerful of the Zodiac, so if it's good, it is very intense. If it's bad, it is just as intense. Due to misinterpretation, people are intimidated. And if they really knew how much happiness we really could bring to their life, they actually would be blown away. But with that much power, hate forces are to be expected. It's so sad. Just like any Zodiac, their bad can't have good without bad. Our bad just gets perceived in a powerful way due to our ability to take on the feelings of others. That's why when a Scorpio embraces their power for good, we are a force to be uh, reckoned with. I will agree about that, Ivan. Uh, When Scorpio is at its best, when Scorpio is on the light side, Scorpio can be one of the best. Um, Scorpio can be phenomenal. However, when Scorpio is on the dark side, you can be one of the worst. So a very good assessment, Ivan. Christopher J82 wrote, all this Scorpio hate, LOL, sounds like a bunch of whiners. Scorpio is evil. Ever think it's something you did to provoke it? If you know us, Scorps, we don't strike unless someone did first. Jay Sun says, they are also opportunists too. I'm dealing with one right now. He literally just got out of a relationship and now he is trying to hint, in parentheses she wrote, since they aren't man enough to be straightforward, SMH, to me that he likes me. I've had to think about him for a while. However, he was in a relationship. I feel like a potential rebound chick and it's annoying. I'm single, had a few boyfriends. He has dated several chicks. Trying to give me advice, but yet he cheats on his girlfriend. Kim Cho wrote, I could never date someone like this. What a headache. It's like their default state is to be corrosive to harmony, happiness, and mental health. Luigi Wolfgar responded with a little devil face, so he must be a Scorpio. And then Kim Cho responded, basically she's uh, detailing all of these notifications that she received from Luigi, one at 6.19 p.m., one at 6.20 p.m., one at 6.20, 6.21, 6.21, 6.24. And basically she says, this is from an abnormal, random stranger, Luigi Wolfgar, whom I presume is a Scorpio, has taken the time to follow me around here and comment on various posts where I've commented to address me within 10 minutes due to a brief disagreement. An excellent visual aid to Rabina's analysis on the abnormal, obsessive, fixated, hypersensitive, illogical behavior. Luigi Wolfgar, grow the hell up and do something about your pathetic, needy, irrational hypersensitivity level instead of harassing me on YouTube. Oh, wow, Kim. I hope that you were able to shake him loose. If not, oh, I think you can report his ass. Oh, that's creepy. Soy Takana wrote, I think I'm going to cancel my date this Friday. And Kim Cho wrote in response, good idea. And Angela Fury wrote in response, please do so with two clapping hands. 
So, uh, Soy Takana, if you are uh, watching this, please let me know if you uh, canceled that date with that dark side of Scorpio. Or I don't know if he was dark sided, but you might have saw some signs. But let me know if you either went through with it and how it uh, turned out and if you're still dealing with him or if you decide to cancel that date. Corey T. Rogers wrote, The Master Scorpios Don't Choose Sides. I love women more than anything. However, if you play with my emotions purposely, that's when you get the systematic destruction. Oh, wow. Thank you for your brutal honesty, Corey. Scientist Vaz wrote, No need for the antibiotic. I'm content alone with my beagle hunter. After 17 years married, I'm like the Jew walking out of Auschwitz. No woman will be trusted ever again. Just me and Hunter riding in the Audi. No thoughts of tomorrow besides for the next adventure. Hunter, Hunter, my baby. I love this dog. I got her and it will never happen again. Just me and my boy. So uh, good for you, scientist Vaz, but uh, it sounds like you're kind of obsessed with your dog. So uh, you might want to uh, back off a little bit about that. <laughs> Tay Band's official wrote, are you a Scorpio? Because half the ish I'm hearing is false. Never cheated, good hearted, only had sex with one person. What now? Tay Bands also wrote, extremely loyal, delete this video and die. So Tay Bands, uh, you kind of um, confirmed what I said about um, the extreme ends or the extreme lengths that Scorpio will go to just to make a point or to uh, insult someone. So the fact that you said die, that is so Scorpionic. So, wow. Lady Ruckus wrote, I will never, ever date a Scorpio man ever. One was abusive. He slapped me. I changed my locks and blocked his ass. I had a dream he attacked me, but I took an axe and chopped his head off. Dark Side of Scorpio will take you there. Ex-Corgi wrote, my brother is a piece of shit Scorpio. He's the biggest liar, cheater, and user I've ever known. You are so dead on accurate. and Everything you are saying is absolutely true. This is actually a public service and warning who don't know about their sinister nature. Thank you for posting. Well, you're welcome, ex Corgi. Alex Yagro, most Scorpio men behave like women with PMS. Very overrated sign. This video is very accurate. That received 43 likes. Zoe Starry wrote, I'm a Taurus and I always attract Scorpios, but I'm crazy about my Scorpio husband and he's crazy about me. I love being under his spell and control. Notice she said spell. I submit to him every time and I love it. He's a very dark freak, but so am I. I never want out of his clutch. It's a forever thing. All things dark. I love him. So uh, good for you, Zoe. So I'm glad that you uh, are happy with this dark side of Scorpio. And um, so that that's our actual uh, comment that's on the bright side. And that comment received 22 likes. Sally Nathan wrote, Scorpio is the devil. That received 22 likes as well. Dreer Perry wrote, I totally suspected they either were demons or involved with them. Satanists. That received 19 likes. Fritz Lib wrote, she just described my Scorpio ex-boyfriend. That received 19 likes. Maria Mars wrote, lost my virginity to a Scorpio moon. Worst experience of my life. I felt so abused spiritually. Nova Caffelli wrote, these motherfuckers always want to be right. And when you have your opinion, they will try to debate it when it ain't even necessary. They some punks, and most I know too, like Leos, have mommy issues. They also argue too damn much for nothing and think no one understands their depth when they give not a care about your inner or what you going through. Loud, blaring, and pop off for nothing. Will pull a gun but won't chunk em, chunk em head up with males, but will choke a female out. Can't stand them. I will whoop a Scorpio's ass. Where's my bug spray? <laughs> Lady Stan Ace wrote, oh my God, you described my ex-husband. He has demons attached to him and I encountered them very early in the relationship and his mom was a classic Chicago witchcraft practicing monster in law. He is aware of his ability to suck life out of the unknowing. He couldn't do it to me because I was born with supernatural ability. I gave him energy until I realized he was distributing it to subhuman tricks. Anal sex we did not do, but he pissed on my leg and said he was marking his territory. He was submissive in bed. No STDs. It was very hard to divorce his whorish ass. Money flowed with us. I had to get a POP to keep him from for forcing me to have sex with him once I filed for divorce. Brutal custody battles are real. Well, thank you for sharing your personal story, Lady Santa Ace. 
Scorpia G wrote, Sleeping with the Enemy is a great movie, LOL. Even the actor's eyes and calm voice was crazy. Yep, that's an obsessed Scorpio male. So in the Dark Side Scorpio male video, I mentioned that the ma uh, the male character in that movie, he's like the epitome of a Dark Side of Scorpio. 2.0 wrote, LOL, I love to overpower and piss people off just for fun. Never any hard feelings. Speak the truth, lady. Mercy Merck wrote, Gangster, yes. Demonic, no. We do like to run things. I won't rape or stalk you or kill you. Hell to the naw, naw, naw. But I will step out on you. It's way too many women out here for that. If you reciprocate the love, we will love you like no other. If you're selfish, I'm looking for my exit strategy. I will fall back and start flirting and recruiting to replace you. Yes, we will cut you off. But if we got there, it took time to get there. That doesn't happen overnight. Just treat a Scorpio how you want to be treated, and it'll be all best. T. Keller wrote, I'm dealing with a so-called family member now like that too, the, to the point where he has abused me in front of my daughter. He pulled me into work for his company with a woman he has a child with. We were all cool, and then it just seemed like he was jealous. She was starting to, to like me. Now there's all kinds of drama going on to where I haven't even returned back to work. I'm so confused on the relationship. I don't want to be homeless, but I'm really uncomfortable. Don't trust him and would piss on his grave. Oh, wow. But like I said before, Dark Side of Scorpio will take you there. Supernova wrote, sometimes the infection is so deep that you have to amputate the infected limbs to get rid of the infection. I literally had to lie to this one Scorpio male who was pursuing me psychotically that I moved across the country. Wow. Kiara Jefferson wrote, I'm currently in a relationship with a Scorpio. Every single thing that was said in this video is true. We've only been together eight months and I went through more with him than I did with my previous relationship of 10 years. They bait you in the beginning, then all hell breaks loose and lie after lie unfolds. The STD part was true as well. They will accuse you of giving it to them. They will always, always accuse you of cheating and test you constantly. I look at him sometimes and ask myself, is he possessed? Please take my advice and run as fast as you can because once you're in a deep, you won't be able to get away. Save yourself. Kansu wrote in response to another woman's comment about Dark Side of Scorpio. Uh, she wrote, I'm also a Capricorn woman. We are strong people. That is why I managed to get out of a relationship with a Scorpio man without letting it affect me too much. We were only together two months when I could already see who he really was. And yes, he also gave me some type of infection. He did talk about wanting to be pissed on also. Extremely jealous for no reason. Will threaten your life if you try to leave them and then take revenge on you when you finally leave them. By stalking you, exposing your secrets or photos he secretly took of you on the internet and just doing everything he can to destroy you. Dr. Groove wrote, yes, this is all true. However, we are a sign that can do it all. There is nothing that I can't accomplish if I put my mind to it. No battle I cannot win if I plan out the battle. So ladies, if you can handle some of this and are backing your Scorpio male 100%, he will be loyal to you. But if you are battling for control, you will not win. Don't care what your, what sign you are. You are the most powerful. We are the most powerful sign on the chart. Spiritually, we have the key to heaven and hell. If you want to experience an adventure, better get you one. LOL. Wow, kind of sounds like the movie Hellraiser. Samaya wrote, you are so correct. A few years back, I was in a relationship with a Scorpio and he was very hostile one minute and within a second, he would just blow up at me. He would try to be very dominating. He was critical, OCD and jealous. I found many pics of his exes and letters he kept going 15 years back. There would be times I would notice him talking to himself. I mean, he was strange, sneaky and rude. He would just snap on me for petty reasons. Oh, and he was living with his mother, although he is 38 years old. He has no ambitions. I tried to work with him, but he was so hostile and toxic that I had to leave him alone. He was very unclean. After I left him, he went onto his Facebook to, to some of our mutual friends to talk badly of me just to cover up all of his wrongdoing to me so that they could stop speaking to me. He tried to abuse me a few times, so I left his psychotic ass. I honestly felt that he had some deep-rooted mental issues. Jay Shaw wrote, I'm a Scorpio and I agree with everything you are saying. I have had run-ins with dark-sided male Scorpios. They are very evil. The worst people in the world. Thank God I'm on the bright side of the forest. 
Diabolical Vo wrote, this male hating lesbo is crazy as cat shit. <laughs> Jerry Williams wrote, I do hate when things are out of place. So those are the dark sided Scorpio male comments that I found to be most intriguing. Please uh, contribute any stories that you have regarding your experiences with any dark sided Scorpio males. And also, uh, please feel free to uh, post a comment about any dark sided movie characters that you particularly like. So uh, my next video in this series will be uh, dark sided Sagittarius male and female. Peace and many blessings.